I'm Lillian Hastangwe. I'm very honored to have been asked by the Breezy Point Historical Society to tell the story of the Reeds and their involvement with Rockaway. I'm a fifth generation Breezy Pointer and I'm going to begin the story with the with my great great grandfather and then go down through his descendants. So this is an image of Philip Howard Reed II with his wife Jessie V and the child is Philip Howard Reed III. Philip Howard Reed Sr. built and owned the Brooklyn and Rockaway Beach Railroad, popularly called the Canarsie Line. It was incorporated on December 24th, 1863 and began operation in the autumn of 1866. The Atlantic branch of the LIRR was connected to the Canarsie Line. The Canarsie Line ran from East New York at Broadway to Canarsie Landing. These, this is an image of my um, great-grandfather, Frederick A. Reed. He graduated from Columbia University as a real estate lawyer and practiced in the Temple Bar building on Court Street, Brooklyn. He partnered with his younger brother, Philip Howard Reed II, in developing real estate in New York City. Both were sons of Philip A. Reed. Philip became a famous real estate entrepreneur and developed Rockaway Point. And this is an image of Frederick Reed and Lily Noe, his wife, Lily Noe Reed, and the little girl is Louisa Collier Reed, who's my great, my grandmother, who's my grandmother. Philip Howard Reed II was the principal owner and president of the Rockaway Point Company. He leased Western Rockaway from the Southern Pacific Railroad from 1911 to 1928. Philip H. Reed II resided in, at Atlantic and Williams Place and later at 2651 East 21st Street in Sheepset Bay, Brooklyn. Philip Howard Reed II and others, Roxbury, Simon, and Seaman, built the first docks on the shore of Rockaway Point. Reed and Simon were the first to have ferries bring patrons to the Rockaway Point beaches in the summer. Reed's ferries ran across Jamaica Bay from Canarsie Landing to Roxbury and Rockaway Point. Tent communities began to develop from Roxbury to Rockaway Point. The Rockaway Point Yacht Club was purchased from Philip Howard Reed II in 1910 by the members. Philip Howard Reed III was a member in the 1930s and possibly earlier. Philip Howard Reed II was also president of the Rockaway and Sheepshead Bay Division of the Waterway League of Greater New York and Long Island. April 1st, 1906 to April 1st, 1911, Philip Howard Reed II's Rockaway Point Ferry Company ran ferry service from Ocean Avenue, Sheepshead Bay to Plum Beach, Barron Island, and Rockaway Beach. He leased the docks for 5% gross receipts and the land underneath the water for $75 per year. Later, Reed's ferry service sailed between Sheepshead Bay at the foot of Ocean Avenue and Reed's boat landing west of Reed Avenue at Rockaway Point. The Reed Ferry Line was built 1912 through 1918 by the Bela Wallace Company at Morshead City, North Carolina. As the building of the ferries was com were completed, they sailed up the coast to New York. Reed's ferry line included the Manhattan, Bell Harbor, Sheepset Bay, Rockaway, Uncle Sam, Visitor, Neponset, Frederick Lundy, C. Washington Collier, Columbia, and the Commander. And the Commander was placed on the National Register for Historic Places. The USS Commander it was in port in uh, December 
on December 31st, 1917, a few days before it was commissioned. In September 1917, the 61.2-foot motorboat was leased by the U.S. Navy and placed in commission in early January 1918. During the next 13 months, she was employed as a harbor utility vessel by the New York Navy Yard and the Naval Air Station at Rockaway. Decommissioned in early February 1919, the commander was soon returned to her owner, P. Howard Reed of Sheeps of Bay, Brooklyn. The ferry boat, the Sea Washington Collier, was named for a brother, a Louisa Bryant Reed, who was Philip Reed Sr.'s wife. He was the first vice president and trustee of the East New York Savings Bank from 1869 to 1916. Philip Howard Reed Sr. C. Frank Collier and Whitson Collier were also trustees of the bank when it first opened. In East New York Savings Bank, um, the East New York Savings Bank helped finance the Reed's real estate ventures. In, 19, in the 1920s, Reed, uh, Rockaway Point Inn and Dock were located at the foot of Reed Avenue. Signs on the building indicate dining and dancing as well as Trummer's malt beer. The peaked roof behind uh, Reed's Inn had a sign reading, Buy Prudence Bonds. Reed's Rockaway Point Inn was just east of the, east of the ice cream pavilion. Reed's ice cream pavilion on Bayside in Rockaway Point was owned by the Reeds and operated by Lady Bell Reed. The Ways and Means Committee of the Catholic Club called on Mr. P. Reed at his home on March 20th, 1924 and signed a contract to erect a clubhouse on West Market Street, dimensions of 40 by 60 feet with a 10-foot po uh, porch for $2,600. Mr. Reed was pleased with the idea and donated $300 towards the building fund. And here's a picture of Philip Howard Reed II and his granddaughter Doris, for whom Doris Lane is named. He was a member of the St. Nicholas Society of Manhattan Island, the Society of Old Brooklynites, the Palm Beach Anglers, the Palm Beach Yacht Club, and the Waterway League. While in Palm Beach, he had a stroke in March and never recovered his health. He died September 29, 1925 at the home of his son, Philip Howard Reed III, at 157 Exodus Street in Manhattan Beach. In 1928, the Rockaway Point Development Corporation purchased Rockaway Point from the Southern Pacific Railroad for approximately $4,300,000. William L. Austin Jr. became the president of the Rockaway Point Development Corporation and in 1934 Philip Howard Reed III was made vice president. Philip Howard Reed III was also the general manager of the Rockaway Point Operating Company Incorporated which built and sold the commercial and real estate buildings of Rockaway Point and Breezy Point. In 1935, the Rockaway Point Operating Company sold bungalows for $780 and also $750 with a down payment of $50. Bungalow construction continued westward in the wedge towards Suffolk Walk. And here you can see there was a groin field that was constructed along the ocean front. The Colony Inn was built by uh, Philip Howard Reed III and the, it was owned by um, some of his friends or colleagues. It was, went on to construction in 1934. And this is the grand opening of the um, new Colony Inn that was advertised for Friday evening, June 28, 1935 in the Rockaway Point News. 455 patrons dined at the grand opening of the Colony Inn on June 28, 1935, and then 400 elk followers dined at the Antler Dinner in the Colony Inn in July 1935. Philip Howard Reed III and his daughter Doris Reed, who was born in 1914, are pictured here. 
And the, here is a, um, a picture from the Rockaway Point News of September 5, 1941 issue. And it shows the judges standing at the Roxbury Mardi Gras. And it has um, Mrs. Philip Howard Reed on the upper left. And in the middle of the top row is um, Philip Howard Reed. And here's a picture of the 1933 Bathing Beauty um, con contest winners. In the center is Ellen, uh, Eileen Griffin, and she's standing between William L. Austin, Jr., and Philip Howard Reed III, and the runners-up are Rita Diffin and Edith Smith. Philip Howard Reed III and his family made Palm Beach, Florida their residence in 1937. He became the manager and owner of the Shore Winds Hotel and that was on South Ocean Boulevard in Palm Beach. And this is an image of the 1947 hurricane that it shows damage along the uh, Southern Ocean Boulevard. Philip Howard Reed III died in West Palm Beach in 1975. This is a uh, plaque that reads, born August 19, 1864, died September 29, 1925, in memory of P. Howard Reed, founder of Rockaway Point, erected and dedicated by the Point Square Club, 717, July 4, 1926.